Well, I couldn't help but notice that uh, later in the evening on Sunday, yesterday, I was subject to a verbal attack of, uh, of a guy and I, by the name of Hunt. It's just one of the trolls who've changed the name. You see, Hunt? You know? We can spot you a mile away. But, these are, wait, isn't it a pity they didn't have the actual, you know, the balls, you know, should we say? If the balls were as big as the mouths, then we could have this conversation face to face. I don't know, people say you shouldn't respond, but I like to respond because, because, there are no balls there, are there? Just a sack, yeah? And you see, Hunt, you're nothing other than a ball bag. And that must be embarrassing. Thanks for Boop diving in there and uh, giving him a bit of his own medicine. But it is a shame, isn't it, that we have to... Uh, I mean, you've got to really question the childishness of it and the actual intelligence of, of, of the comments, you know? I mean, why the fuck would I actually dye my hair and not dye my beard if that's what I chose to do? Have a look at Rio Ferdinand, you can see he's dyed his beard. You know? You see? This is these people are so... The, the, this type of person is from such a, uh, a let's say, uh, sheltered, be nowhere back background, scruffy cunt, scruffy cunt. Well, my hair is long and I haven't shaved for a while. And I'm clean, I wash. What are you, a slapper? Are you a slapper? Are you one of them slappers that has all his head polished and shaved? You're probably one of those who has very little hair or is losing it, and it's affecting you, and you probably have the, the hairs of a fucking egg on your chin, so that when you polish it at night, you can go, you know what I mean? You see, hunt. Anyway, I have nothing else to say about him, so uh, see you, hunt. But, I must admit, I had a subject on my mind, um, and, it, and it came to fruition through yesterday's you know, debacle that, well, because I've got the TV in the fucking room and it's accessible now, I do tend to flick it on when I shouldn't do, because I'm, but I mean I've always been a sports fan and I watch that fucking shambolic fucking Wimbledon performance, not shambolic by Murray in the sense of you know, he played reasonable tennis. It wasn't the same tennis he would have been forced to play playing a Federer or Jokovic. And as much as it's a privileged sport in many senses, it's I've played tennis in my time. It, you know, it does keep you fit and you can build a bit of an art rate up, battering a ball around. I used to play quite often when we were young, son, when we were younger. But uh, it, it, it was repulsive, wasn't it, to see, wasn't it, the, you know, the... Uh, and then Murray thanked the Prime Minister for being there for four. It was that with mother in a corner. Yeah. But the rest of them, the royalty and the fucking MPs and and the just general fucking I'm alright jackers to the extreme. You know, from the extreme of the I'm alright jackers, i.e. royalty and fucking MPs and fucking mayors of London, right to the I'm alright jackers sat on the fucking hill. You know, Hemmenil, <laughs> sat on Hemmenil, they were, yeah, with the fucking sunglasses on, drinking the champers, or is it Pims, is it, Pims and strawberries, yeah, it is a, a repulsive scene of overindulgences, Wimbledon, you know, and then we had the, uh, 
the bullshit flying later on at the Euro finals, the championship finals, because Portugal won through playing a, a defensive role. And well, it's not as if they hadn't told them that's the kind of game they were going to play. You break it down if that's where it is. But anyway, all these fuckers don't know what they're talking about football wise. They only uh, actually, a lot I know, only actually watch for, for one reason for fucking goals or for, for a bet. They're fucking addicted. And I know so many men today addicted. It's quite incredible, you know? Everything goes on on the old fucking game. Right throughout the game, they're betting different fucking times. You know? <clears throat> you know betting extra time now, we're going extra time. We'll have fucking, uh, we'll cash out, cash out now before fucking uh, the score of the goal. What a lot of fucking shit. Dangerous game, that, that gambling like that. But anyway, like I say, yeah, just an overindulgence, a complete, a complete and utter, you know, Wimbledon. You know, I, I know people who still have good interest in it. There's a dog coming up, diving over here now, beginning to kick in the fucking arse in a minute, son. Because you won't like it if you start sniffing her arse, I can assure you. Yeah. Good lad. You tell him, dude. She's getting old, lad. They don't wait up, they can't understand it, some of these people who have dogs. It's alright for their dog to come charging over. 500 fucking yards, full bolt. She never moves away from my side. She hasn't got anger in her, but she doesn't like dogs sniffing her arse and that. Oh, what a cotton look, see? Eh? Have you noticed something about the villages? Yeah, this is a different contract. Who lives at Cotton, haven't I? Many of the county council staff, many of the local council staff from all areas. <clears throat> and it looks as though that's been cut there to me. Although I've seen other areas around here that haven't been. But getting back to Wimbledon, yeah. Fucking unbelievable, mate, isn't it? I mean, getting back to there, actually. Because what I was going to talk about was actually the overindulgence of Wimbledon and fucking... That, you know, the, the, the extreme, I'm all right, Jackers. Down to the... Sudo! Yes, it's what I can say. The extreme, I'm all right, Jackers. Sudo! Sudo! Get here! Get here! Get here! Get here! Yeah, no, well, no, she's getting old, that's all. Yeah, she's like, well, she jumped that wall over. Yeah, there. no, but she's got a bad leg and, okay. and she, she's getting a bit, bit, getting a bit bitchy in her old age, to be honest. Hmm? She's going blind. Oh, bless her. So she's not like, you know, other dogs sniffing at her. <laughs> she never barked till seven. <laughs> well, he's only, he only barks if Toby barks. He's two. Yeah, yeah. He only barks if the other dog barks. I don't he's believe she barked until she was six or seven. Well, and it was. I think it's about, uh, like you say, she's not sure what's around her when they start sniffing at her. Because yeah. her eyesight's going. But... It says the smell might pick up food. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Come on. She's a bugger looking for food. Come on, come on. But yeah, I don't know what I was saying now. Got involved in a conversation with a lady. Look, see? Virgil's all cut here. Very well. Very well trimmed. Oh, God, you see? I thought the whole of Preston had stopped by, I don't know which belongs to who these days. But what I was going to say is, look, some beautiful big homes here. Oh, Preston Council up here, look. What will they be doing? They'll be cutting something. I don't know. Come on, over here. That might be better turn it off for a bit. Come on, you. Well, I expected cotton to be cut, as in sense of the park area. What I didn't expect was it to be cut uh, on the verges. But anyway, she's having to go off over there because the dog's having a doom. But yeah, you know. Over, overindulgence, yeah, from the extreme of the overindulgence to the, you know, to the very extreme, you know, wealthy compared to the likes of fucking 
your average uh, person full stop. You could see that's what Wimbledon attracts, even on the hill. I'm not saying there aren't some young students that don't get there and, and enjoy the day and the strawberries. And, but yeah, well, well, what I'm on about when I'm coming around here now, because I'm talking a lot of shite, it's a thing that came through the day and I thought, how much do we really fucking need, like? You know? Because I've been taking a, a close look at some of the properties being built around this town. You know, from a distance, and they're all fucking down as, you know, three, four, five bedroom fucking executive dwellings. Zuni, come on, away from there. She's been quite uh, troublesome today, this bitch, to be honest. She's not been well for two days. Get up there, come. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah, you know, uh, Oh, that's what they're all down as is. I've just popped up to Cotton and I think it's two miles to get here. And I've passed seven or eight different signs. The yellow signs that, you know, point in the direction of a new estate going up. There is a lot being built and a lot going up around here. But they do all appear to be, you know, the three, four, five bedroom executive dwellings. It's as if... The rest of us have just been fucking cast to one side. I mean, what do you need? How much do people need? You know? Why if one can rattle around in a fucking mansion? I mean, what is the actual fucking buzz about? You know, a, a, a 10, 12 bedroom home, like a lot of these living, that has seven or eight bedrooms totally empty. And maybe, what do they, what do they do? Do they get a bus walking into it or what? Go checking them every, each and every day. I, 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 I'm staggered. Why people seem to get so much, uh, I don't know what they get out of it. What do they get out of having so many extra rooms and reception rooms and all this? And, Places that you have to heat and, and keep within fucking reasonable condition. I don't know, I really don't. I'm going to stop a minute because I've got fucking bad wind, traffic everywhere. It's been just taking the eye. God. So here we go, look. It's fucking breezy today. Horrible day, wet as well. Story Homes, welcome to Waterside, opening towns. Executive two, three, four and five bedroom properties. We're building new homes, city deal. Preston, South Ribble, Lancashire. In conjunction with Preston Council, South Ribble Council. Homes and Communities Agencies, Lancashire County Council, Lancashire Enterprises, helped to buy. Backed by HM Government, five star home builder. 2016 Facebook and Twitter. But look, see, I don't see much on here for fucking me, do you? Story homes, like I said, like the rest of them, only used to be down south of England. And then we get the guys who are doing it, mate. Doing the dirty work, mate. Yeah. What do you think about that? Yeah, fuck you know, it's fucking wild, mate. Well, the weather anywhere. Look, see. What's a fucking mess? Shit and mud up to your knees. Fucking scaffold. That much fucking scaffold. You can't get to the fucking house. Terrifying. What's all that plastic shit around the windowsills and the jobs to stop them getting chipped? I don't mind a chip, do you? It's a bit of character in it. What a fucking job, honestly. I'd have nightmares looking at that. Oh, but look at all bags blown up in the bottom in case you fell through. Well, I was in the game for 40 years. I never fell through. Very few do. It soon wakes up if you do fucking fall through. Fuck me, I knew that was a mistake. I fucking went to them houses then to actually let that woman go past with the dogs because I don't want to talk to anybody today. I can't be fucking arsed. And fuck me, she's crossed the road and met another woman. Disaster. I'll be stood here for a fucking hour. I have to find another way around. You know what I like? Fucking hell. And I don't mean just women. 
fucking hell. Three fucking dogs. Two women. And all we're looking for is a bit of peace soon, isn't it? Juni. Juni. Are we? She don't want them sniffing her ass. I don't want them fucking questioning my fucking mind. Barry Tom's here. Look. I think these are ugly as fuck. Whether they shared ownership or not, don't you? Look at this all black. All black bay windows. Black doors, black garages. Black door on every fucking door. Is that to mark you down as being shared ownership? Is it? Fucking, I remember when council houses were like that, everyone had the same coloured door. Yeah? There's a council house, him. In with that green door. They're all fucking green. Yeah? Then they give you a choice. You can have a choice of three, I think, red, green, or fucking black. People thought they were doing all right because they had a different coloured door. For fuck's sake, mate. Yeah? I'm fucking taking the piss. Seriously, you know? How much do we need? How much does each fucking family or fucking individual need? Yeah? I mentioned the other day, I think, that this town is full of students. And the accommodations for the students in town is incredible. They've built fucking block after block of two and three bedroom fucking apartments for students. Now, <clears throat> there's a possibility with this fucking Brexit that a lot of these overseas students won't be coming anymore. I can see fucking the people, some of the people living in them, them poxy little fucking pigeonholes. It's different when you're young, isn't it? And a student, and fucking spewing, fucking pissing, and fucking boozing every fucking night, and not giving a shy. Everyone gets on, don't they? A few squabbles and a few fucking, you know, crosswords. But you get on with it, don't you? And do your studies. When you're old, you don't want dramming in like that, in like a fucking sardine in a fucking tin. Yeah, till some cunt opens your fucking lid. It's a fucking joke, mate. I'm telling you, it's poison. It's poison when you think about how much room some of these fuckers have. And dozens of them, a fucking big percentage of people. With fucking bedroom after bedroom. Fucking, you know, reception room after reception room. That they never fucking use. Lodges on the outside. Fucking garages fucking that big. You could fucking live in it. And yet they've got fuck all but junk stuck in it. You know? It's a pretty sad state of affairs. That you can deny people a fucking... A low cost home that they they want to fucking go into to have some shelter from the harshness of a northwest fucking winter from you know without it actually costing them every fucking penny they earn or every penny that they possess yeah they want a bit of security you know <clears throat> like I said many a time a wooden cabin a caravan or whatever but the fucking you know the just, just to be secure and just to be uh, have your own privacy yeah it's, it's just unbelievable I find it unbelievable capitalism fucking smashing the fucking well ordinary people to pieces mate you know either tying into a 35 year fucking mortgage well, they haven't got time to bring the fucking kids up half the fucking time. You know? <clears throat> they haven't got time to take their dog for a walk in the morning for a shit before they rush off to work. Yeah? Because they're tied to this fucking mortgage. And yet... These are the fuckers. What's the name? Here it is. Here it is. Gone against uh, Theresa May. Lend whatever her fucking name is anyway. She strolled out of her fucking country fucking estate yesterday to speak to the cameras after she'd said that she'd be a better fucking parent, uh, a better PM than fucking me because one had sprogs and the other one didn't. They don't bring their own kids up, them fuckers. Do they fuck their hand over to nurses from the age of fucking, well, as soon as they pop out the fucking hole, mate. They hand it over, yeah? You do the dirty work, I'm in the city. I find this country at the moment so repulsive when you look at it. <clears throat> who were actually got, you know, running from fucking... I mean, I don't want to get on politics today, but there's only one I can see who's 
anything like reasonable. He's corbing the rest of them. And we're, we're just being fucking... Poor, it's poison, isn't it? We're just being fucking downloaded with shit after shit after shit. You know? BBC bullshit, Sky bullshit, fucking... You know, the, the, the reporters in the morning are repulsive, aren't they? They only have to open their the mouth. And Britain today is celebrating two great days of sport. Yeah. yeah. Yesterday was an unbelievable day. Murray won the fucking Wimbledon and fucking that other fucker who drives a car around. You know, fucking uh, Hamilton. He won the British Grand Prix. Again, that's another top sport fucking, you know, for a select few to fucking... Whoa, it's repulsive. This is repulsive. Times have changed in this country, and I'll tell you what, it isn't leaving much fucking hope for us. There's Mr. Corn or whatever his name is there, cuts his fucking footings out. Well, the bricklayers aren't working, that's a shot. I know it's. Well, I must admit, I had to piss my sides when I got to this far at Cotton, and, it, and, and their, their edges haven't been cut. You know. Look what they've done here. Don't go fucking telling me all this doesn't come in one trunk contract. This piece of grass where the daffodils grow. Look, they've left three feet at the side as a government protest. And it's certainly nowhere near as long as it is around the end where my mother lives. Look, it's a protest, that's what they said it was. To the government. They want us silly cunts to ring up the government and say, well, stop cutting this and cutting that. Our oh, poor council can't afford to cut all its grass. Well, that's a joke, that, isn't it? They've left that on purpose, mate. That tells me exactly what it's about because there's no way the guy cutting this wouldn't have cut that edge. Yeah? This is about fucking trying to make a point. 